Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special treat today on the Hammond Cast Show. We are broadcasting from Oslo, Norway, one of the most famous cities of Europe, with a heart of arts, culture, music, and the Nobel Peace Prize. And we're sitting here with Mayor Per Dietlev Simonsen. Fantastic pronunciation. Thank you very much, Mayor. It's a wonderful, great honor to meet you, and thank you for having us today. And we have a beautiful, lovely day of weather here in Oslo for our first time here. And how is everything going? Oslo is uh, an old city, about uh, 1,000 years old, and just at this time, we are in a very good period. The city is growing rapidly, it's very dynamic, and uh, uh, people are generally happy here. So things are going well. Well, you're, you're looking well, and a uh, big surprise, uh, as, as we met Mayor Simonsen, uh, he told us that he went to school at UC Stanford. Uh, it is UC Stanford? Stanford University. Stanford University, in, that's right, in, in Palo Alto. In, in right? Palo Alto. Right. About 100 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look fantastic, and uh, it's great to know that you know Northern California so well, because that's where our station originates from, uh, the city by the bay, and the uh, CBS. Well, everybody loves San Francisco. Yes. And, uh, uh, you know, Tony Bennett had the big hit, I left my heart in San Francisco, and I always tell everybody when I come to Europe, I left my car in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it wasn't stolen. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I got to tell Tony the joke, and uh, uh, recently he got the National Endowment of the Awards, uh, Jazz Masters Award, and I, I told him that, I said, oh, I never heard that one before. <laughs> he was very nice, you know. But uh, you were in California recently? Last year, in October. Ah. with my wife in uh, connection with the 50th reunion since uh, I graduated from that great school in 1955 and uh, we saw our friends and we uh, had a wonderful time at Stanford and uh, I will never forget uh, sitting in the quad amongst those uh, old all those uh, old Spanish buildings and uh, I think about 1800 people outdoors candlelight dinner perfect climate and uh, fantastic friendship. Wonderful. Yes, well, it's great to know you have such a connection with the Bay Area, and uh, we're always happy if you'll come back and visit us there. But uh, your voice will be coming all over the Bay Area into people's cars. We broadcast about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. At California time is streaming all over the world as well. But, uh, you know, we have a music program and uh, so many musicians that I have met have had a wonderful experience coming to your lovely city to play. You have a, one of the best audiences in the world and so many fantastic productions come from here and you support the musicians and the musical productions here and I heard that you're building a brand new opera house here as well, right? We are finally getting uh new national opera uh, designed uh, after an international con uh, competition of architects and uh, fortunately the competition was won by a Norwegian firm and uh, it's going to be a beautiful opera, a new center also of ballet and um, we have a, a great number of, uh, of festivals, music festivals in Oslo and uh, in your particular context, I, I would recommend the Jazz Festival, which is uh, in August every year, this year for the 25th time, I believe. Fantastic. And we have a chamber music festival, and we have uh, rock festivals, and we have all sorts of festivals, of all, all high quality. And there is a tremendous number of young talent in, for all types of music in Oslo at the moment. Wonderful. Well, we'll try to come back for sure and enjoy the jazz festival with you and some of the, I love chamber music as well. And uh, the city is very easy to access uh, by the sea, by the air, by train. We enjoyed your wonderful 
high-speed train from the airport, and it's a, it's a beautiful shape to a very aerodynamic and very quiet, you know. And I must say that uh, the ambience of Oslo is quite quiet, you know, so it's a peaceful place to just collect your thoughts, and, and I think I can understand why so much good art has originated here, and it's great that you're keeping that fine tradition going. In that context, I think it's worth uh, noting that what is absolutely special about Oslo is its uh, geographic setting with the fantastic uh, clean Oslo Fjord uh, in the south and the rest of the city surrounded by vast forests, open country where you can ski in the winter time and hike in the summer. And uh, on a good winter Sunday, you know, half the population would be out of doors. And uh, I think the nearness uh, of this nature to the um, uh, cultural center and, and, and to the urbanized areas is is maybe the best thing about Oslo and it, it gives us uh, the possibility for a way of life which is almost unique. Well it's great to be here and uh, I just want to say that uh, everybody knows that the Norwegians were the first tourists so today we are tourists and uh, we wanted to come and see where the first tourist came from and get into the spirit of everything. And we were so lucky that you had the time to see us. And I want to thank you very much for having us in your wonderful quarters here, which is that we're surrounded by incredible art here. And uh, we're going to enjoy looking at it. There's a lot of incredible things to see here and thank you so much our, our station call letters are kycy and kyou at 1550 a.m on the dial so next time you're in california please uh tune in and you, you might just hear yourself but because we're called kyou have, have you got anything to sign off to our listeners with well i will say that after this i owe you something and uh, then i hope that uh, some of my friends in california hears this and uh, I tell them that uh, I look so much forward to get back to that wonderful part of the world. Thank you so much. Merci Monsen from Oslo, Norway, folks. And uh, we hope to see you here in Oslo, Norway. <laughs>